So today we have got a load more parts going on my J82M4 which is just getting detailed out there. It has just been wrapped in a brand new colour. Some of you guys might have seen it on social media, some of you might not. But we'll be revealing that very shortly. And today we are going to be fitting some essential mods. And one of them is extremely important as it's a little bit of a design flaw from BMW. Let's get this shutter pulled up and reveal the car's new look. As you can see, I've wrapped it satin black for the winter. This is vinyl frog matte metallic black. So it's basically like a satin black, but it's got a little pearl around it. Let's quickly show you around it a little bit more. The reason why I went for it is because it's winter. Obviously, it's going to get filthy and black is kind of like the best color for hiding dirt. It just stays black. I've got the Westfield wheels. I'm actually going to be changing them out for Jack's HREs to test them on the car today because I think I might be swapping to the HREs. These are the parts going on the car today. This is a brand new product, which I was talking about earlier. This is an essential mod, in my opinion. So this is the TRE underbrace. And what this is gonna do is protect the underneath. There's an oil rad, which is prone to getting damaged, stone chips, dents. What I'll do is I'll talk about this a little bit more once the car's up in the air and I can show you in depth what it's actually gonna do. Also here is the TRE Alcantara steering wheel. Full Alcantara steering wheel replaces the factory steering wheel, which is leather. Mine's gone a little bit shiny now, so I'm looking forward to getting this on. And it also features M color stitching, which is really nice. That'll work very well with the interior. Something I've been very excited about, which is the Adro Carbon replacement grills. At the moment, my car has gloss black grills on the front, and they recently just brought out these, which is a carbon replacement, along with the ducts which I'll show you over now by the front of the car. Factory one is gloss black, and these will just be replacing it with carbon, which is gonna look a lot more classy. And a nice thing I like about this is the factory Adro grills are like almost a bit of like an Audi mesh. But these will give it a lot more of like a traditional BMW look, and it's gonna look super aggressive. So I'm excited to get them on. And one last thing as well, come over here. It's a brand new product that's been developed by the guys at MAED and Evolve and it's some magnetic paddles. So if you have a little listen to that. So that will give you a nice shift noise when you're going through the gears. It's gonna feel a little bit more positive because the factory paddles, you don't really get much sensation out of it when you shift, whereas these is gonna give it a lot more of a positive shift. And that little sound probably has gone straight through your ears. Don't worry, it's not as loud in person. It's just because this is near the mic. Let's get started. What we're gonna do is get the car up on the ramp now show you the install and get this brand new TRE brace underneath. And I'll also show you the little bit of damage, which is on mine at the moment. So you guys can see why I think this is an essential mod. So I'm super excited to get this steering wheel on. So as you can see, my factory wheel's got that sort of shine to it and the Alcantara is gonna cut all that out and it's gonna match lovely with the current Alcantara on the car, matching the seats and stuff like that. So as I was saying earlier, this is a massive design flaw with BMW and I've actually damaged my oil cooling rad. This is an oil cooling rad and it's completely exposed from factories, exactly the same on the G87M2 and this part will also fit the G87M2. And the problem is, if you hit any sort of rocks or stone chips, whether you're going on track or something like that, you run the risk of dropping a load of engine oil. And as you can see, actually up here, I hit a little rock in the road when I was over in Switzerland and I got extremely lucky, it didn't actually split the rad. So today we're just gonna get that brand new TRE underbrace popped on, that way you've not got to worry about splitting the rad or anything like that. Just gonna quickly mention the BoostLogic's full titanium system I've got. This exhaust, as you can see from the pipe work, it is absolutely mental and it sounds lovely. So I'll give you a little rev test after so you guys can hear that as well, because that's also new. Full titanium system the whole way through. So as you can see in the previous clips, the under tray has now been fully installed. The lovely thing about this is how flush it sits. It doesn't extend or anything like that. Super easy install, 
uses all of the OEM mounting points. Also, works with the Adro bumper, which is nice. The only bit that you need to add on is a couple of little extended bolts, which come here and here, and they'll be supplied within the kit. So the way you actually install this, whip the old one off, remove the factory sort of lower lip that goes along here, the little rubber one, and then literally just install with all the OEM parts plus the extended bolts on the corner. Super easy install and will protect your car from any extremely expensive damages. Kai is currently gonna crack out getting the front bumper off because obviously we need to remove the front bumper to then install the carbon grills. Whilst Kai's doing that, I'm gonna jump inside the cabin and just set up a little light and we're gonna film the install of the steering wheel as well as the new magnetic paddles. We're inside the cabin now, it's time to get the factory steering wheel removed. We need to pop this airbag out here. To do so, you wanna turn the steering wheel slightly and you will see a very small little tab. I'll try and pick it up on camera. And that's actually gonna allow you to release the airbag out just like that. So what we're gonna do first of all is quickly jump to the back of the car, unhook the battery and that way we're not gonna be setting the horn off and we haven't got the worry of an airbag going off in my face whilst I'm doing this. Just down here, you've got the battery after you remove the little boot panel, and we're just gonna pop the negative terminal off the battery. Just tuck the negative terminal away, and that way we haven't got to worry about it coming back and hitting it, and we don't want an airbag to go off. So back in the car we go. So now we're gonna get started on popping that airbag out. As I said before, just wanna pop that through, hold a bit of pressure, almost in line with the paddle, just like that, and there's a little spring that you want to depress. So you want to hold a bit of pressure on the airbag at the same time as pressing with the flathead screwdriver, push pressure down and then that will pop this side out. And then you literally repeat the exact same process with that little bit there. And after you've done that, it then releases all the clips in the airbag to then pop the airbag out. And you're left with now a load of wires attached to the airbag. So what you want to do is actually depress the little clip on this one here, like so. Now that's been released, you wanna put that airbag in a safe place. I'm just gonna put it on the back seat for now. So just to show you what I was talking about earlier, so I've got the screwdriver in at the moment, and if you look at this center spring here, once I depress that, you can see it actually moves in and out. So this is the sort of angle that you wanna have your screwdriver at, so you can depress that center spring to release the airbag. Start by unclipping these little bits, and they should just pull out. Just to confirm, I've just unplugged these two little plugs, that one there and that one there. And now we're gonna get rid of that main star bolt so we can remove the wheel. You wanna grab yourself a T60 CRV bit. That's actually gonna be for the main bolt of the center of the steering wheel. A breaker bar, get someone to hold the steering wheel for you. Obviously we're in the air at the moment. If it was on the floor, it wouldn't be as bad. And you just wanna break that nut off. Gracefully. Now that's been broken off, just do the rest with an impact gun like so. And she's out, which now means steering wheel is all good to come off. And the steering wheel has now been removed. We're just gonna jump inside now and get everything transferred from this steering wheel onto the new steering wheel. Got both steering wheels on the desk in front of me. And what I'm actually gonna be doing is transferring these trims and all the sensors and stuff like that over onto the new bare bones wheel. The TRE steering wheel actually comes with the heated, because I've obviously got a heated steering wheel, so it comes with a heated steering wheel built into it, and it's also got the stuff for like the lane assist and everything like that, but that's what these little extra adaptions are for, so we're gonna be getting that in the two. So that took a little while, and what I've basically done is, as you can see, I've removed every single part from this. So it's a bare bone steering wheel, the same way this is a bare bone steering wheel. And now what we've got to do is transfer all of these pieces onto the new bare bones wheel. The steering wheel is now fully rebuilt with the paddles in. It actually feels really good with them paddles to be fair, so I'm excited to get some shifts in with them. So now we're just gonna get the wheel installed the same way it come out but basically you've got a tiny little nib there and a tiny little nib at the bottom of the wheel. 
and you just want to line them up a center bolt on this has a torque setting as well you just want to grab yourself a torque wrench and get it torqued up to 62 newton meters and now all we got to do is pop the airbag clip back in make sure all your clips are nice and secure and then it's just a case of flipping the airbag around and it's all popped in just like that so the steering wheel is now installed can see the car has now been complete we've got the adro carbon front grills and ducts these kind of open the front up a lot more and give it a lot more of like an aggressive look nice thing is it works with the acc the camera slot and everything like that rather than having almost like the audi mesh that they had before we've now just got like almost a very small mesh that's not really visible and it's kind of given the car an overall much more aggressive look like i was kind of standing over there walking over to the car and it looks like it's got a whole new front end over the top of what it even did before. So I'm super happy with that. I've now popped on Jack's HRE FF21 Flow Forged wheels. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of these because it's black on black. But yeah, I am tempted to go for the HRE wheels in a crystal silver because I think it will give the car a nice clean look. So I absolutely love this steering wheel. So now we've got the Alcantara. I feel lovely in hand. It's slightly thicker than what the OEM wheel is. Then obviously we would now fitted the magnetic evolved paddles and when you're going through the gears they genuinely feel insane so so nice and obviously this steering wheel looks a lot nicer and it just overall just feels a lot nicer in your hand that's going to round off today's video if you like any of the parts which are on this car they're all available in the ID store if you're stuck with anything just feel free to drop a member of our team a message they'll come back to you as soon as possible and if you like the content make sure you subscribe tomorrow we're taking jack's g87 m2 drifting so that's going to be fun but i thought i might as well feature my m4 on the channel because it's been a minute before it's been on the channel but there is more stuff on the way for this car so we're not done yet even though it basically looks done anyway enough off in now <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you guys on the next one